How annoyed are you when you run out of face cleanser? Okay, I've done that a few times and it is not fun because your options are the faucet, good old H2O, and we know that doesn't work so well, especially when a lot of us wear waterproof makeup. Yeah, um, and then the other option is that ratchet, cruddy looking bar of soap that sits on the sink collecting dust. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> All right. What you should use is olive oil. Just about everybody has it in their kitchen. It's one of the best things you can use to cleanse your face. First of all, it's natural, um, but it's a great cleaning agent and it really kind of deep cleans your pores. It acts like a magnet to the oil that's on your skin and all the gunk that's within your pores. So clean your face really good with it. Give it a good rinse um, with water afterwards and watch your face feel nice and clean and have a nice little glow. I know everybody don't really use toner, but you should because toner is, is great um, for your face, especially um, after you cleanse it. If you run out of toner, use apple cider vinegar. Actually, this doesn't smell very good, but you can add a little rose water to it to help with the, the smell. But it is one of the most amazing um, things that you can put on your face if you're prone to breaking out, you know, with acne and stuff. Use the apple cider vinegar. And the rose water is good as well um, to mix with that to help with your acne breakouts. But it acts as an astringent and it's a super good clean cleansing agent as well. So it's going to complement that olive oil that you just washed your face with. Um, yeah, so that's, that's pretty much it. Apple cider vinegar, just like coconut oil, has like a million good uses, and I really hope you take advantage of it. I'm a dork.